Yo, we got the radio on today, but we got it muted. And we're doing that so it'll get a copyright strike. So check it out guys, a lot of guys ask me what's going on, why do I run a single axle? And I run a single axle for the reasons in my last video, conserving fuel and, and using the right vehicle for the job. Most of our dumpsters aren't that heavy. I will tell you this much though, like anything mechanical, I'm having some trouble with the Peak 220. That's my single axle. That's the cab over that you guys always see in the video. Hunter has uh, my other truck. That's a backup truck. I kept that up there for a month or so. So I'm having trouble with the single axle. I got my tandem up at Hunter. They have that all ready to go. They just did an inspection on it um, a few weeks back. Uh, did some work to it. So they got that ready to go. I'm not gonna skip a beat. I'm gonna drop off my truck. I'm gonna pick up my other one. They'll have this one ready for me in a few days. I'm gonna be ready to go. Easy breezy, pumpkin squeezy. I haven't driven a big truck in like a year. I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> this is my first time in this truck. It's kinda cool. Way bigger. Matt, Matt, Matt's liking the roll off, man. Instead of the hook truck, Matt's liking a roll off. We're in the roll off. One thing that, you know, I wanted to hit upon is one thing that I want to hit upon is the importance of having a backup truck. Whether you have one truck or 15 trucks or 20 trucks, when your truck goes in for service, you need to make sure that you have a backup truck. We have three trucks that we alternate on backup. That's the 220. I got the tandem and I got a single axle that we alternate on backup. So it's always important when that oil, you're doing a PM, preventative maintenance, you want to make sure that you have a backup truck. If not, you're never going to be able to bring a truck in and have it the same day, not at 100% of the time. Yeah, you could have an oil change or you could have your the fluids changed at the drop of a dime on a predetermined date, but what happens when you have truck problems like I did? So the, so the truck went down. We normally do five, six dumpsters each per person or per truck. I would have lost, you know, at least four orders at, you know, let's say $500 an order. That's a $2,000 loss. By having an older truck and having the backup truck, in my opinion, it's worth it. I know it's extra tags, it's extra insurance and what have you. But knowing that you have that backup truck, I'll tell you, trucks always break at the most inconvenient time. Let's check this out. This is the Garmin 785. LMT-S. Now they also have this in the um, RV version. This is the trucker's version. So let's see what's in the box. Do a little unboxing here. We're not gonna do a full review on it. We're just gonna do a uh, unboxing, see what you got in the package. Yeah, I'm just gonna open it up. I'll just open it, unbox it. The cord for the charger, for the car. Let's hook it up to the computer, I guess, to update it. Let's check out the unit itself. This product is ready to use. Register your device at Garmin.com Express. Download the smartphone link app to your smartphone and pair it to your Garmin device for access to live traffic and more. I can't see the tab because it's black on black. Let me see what I can do. There you go. Damn. Look at that. That's the Garmin uh, 785. We're gonna do a full review on it. We're not gonna do a full review on it today. This is just an unboxing video. Um, we'll do an unbox, we'll do a full review on it here in about a week or so. Check out the video. So just remember, having that backup truck is gonna make you stress-free as far as being without a truck. Even when I don't have a backup truck, I'll give you a for instance, last week this truck was getting a, an inspection and needed a few things and it wasn't on the road. And they said, hey, it's your backup truck, don't stress it out too much. I said, I know, but when I don't have a backup truck, it stresses me out. Actually, the day that this was done, I started having trouble with my other truck. So, you know, guys, listen, have a backup truck if you can. If you're gonna be trading a truck in, or if you're, if you're you know, growing out of a truck that's old, consider keeping that truck 
and consider keeping it as a backup because I'm gonna tell you, not having a backup truck could really put a cramp in your style. The bills aren't gonna stop. Keep the bills paid and the only way to do it is to keep burning diesel and to keep turning over your dumpsters. My other truck, my the 220, had a red light and at when I was at idle, it would start sputtering like, almost like I was running out of gas all the time, but obviously I wasn't. So there's probably a sensor off or something like that. And I have a backup truck. This is my backup truck that I drive. I have a backup, um, this is a P348. Doesn't get as good as gas mileage and it doesn't fit into such tight spots, but you know what? We'll make it work. I like the truck. This was my first truck um, that I have. It's a 2014. It has 236,000 miles on it, 10,000 idle hours on it, or drive hour, run hours. Still runs pretty strong. Last year, um, Peterbilt, actually, they rebuilt the uh, Hunter, actually rebuilt the engine for me under warranty. They definitely took care of me there. And that's about it, guys. We're gonna be doing video this week in the 348. And next week, probably, maybe get back into the 220 in a week or so. They said they're about three days out on, um, on getting repairs done. And I told them it wasn't an emergency since I had this truck as backup. I get to spend more money on fuel, take a longer time to pick up and deliver a dumpster because it's a bigger truck and it's you know not as easier and not fit in spaces yeah. and not fit in spaces like matt said like it's just going to take me longer to drop dumpsters off i'm going to do the same amount of dumpsters per day i'm going to spend more on fuel and i'm going to spend more time but um we'll get it done i mean this is why you have a backup truck Thank you, sir. I appreciate the opportunity. Bye-bye. <laughs>